whoa! Someone, it's someone hiding you from the back. No? It's like I had <laughs> this on my face, darling. You reveal the secret why it looks so fair oh. on screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all know that lah. No secret. Anyway. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hi, I'm Yen. Hello, I'm Fiona. In this episode, we're going to try six different vitamin serum and we're going to share with you which one works the best for us. Yes, and I cannot wait. This is like a long time coming. We've been trying products for the last, what, one and a half to two months. Yes. And this was actually before the rest of the episodes that you've watched. Um, it's actually the first thing that we conceptualized uh, for Beauty and the Geek. I think we started choosing what we wanted to mm. try. So we started out with four highly rave vitamin yes. C on the internet. Yes. Uh, then I was on a trip to Ho Chi Minh. Mm -hmm. And I saw two more, mm -hmm. uh, we decided to add it into our six. So each of us tried three and we swapped. Mm. And from there, we kind of like give our assessment which one works the best. Or if not, how do we think that it works best? Uh, good for other people, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So mm. without further ado, uh, we're, we're going to show you what are the six products. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel, show us some love and hit the bell button. Okay, we're going to start with the very first vitamin C, yes. which is the uh, Roto Milano CC Essence, mm. okay? Uh, so, we, I think I started with this, yeah. um, out of all the six, with this uh, tube here. I would say I saw this um, on Vogue Taiwan. Mm. That's how I wanted to try. Mm. And it's really cheap. It's 20 ml. I think it's only 20 something yes. sing dollars. Um, and we got this at... Uh, Guardian was it? Mm, yeah, Guardian. Guardian. So we're just going to jump straight into what we like and what mm. we don't like about it. Um, I think first of all, I like the scent. Mm. It has this fresh slight hint of tangerine. Yes. So it's very pleasant. Very yeah. nice. Okay, let's talk about what I don't like about this first. So I think from a guy's perspective, um, I find some of the guys might find it a little bit oily. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I feel. But you really have to massage it in to kind of like not get that. Uh, oily finishing yeah but the scent is very pleasant efficacy wise i feel to me it's a mediocre out of five it's a three for me the other thing i use it is that i actually add it into my body lotion mm. yeah so in all uh, for the price i can't complain much yeah yeah what about you okay this is also the first product that i tried mm. and um i adore the smell it's amazing it smells like i don't know chinese new year <laughs> <laughs> the thing about it being oily not so much for me i actually quite enjoy um the 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 texture of the serum um, efficacy wise it works very well with makeup uh i tried it for a week and then after that, I went on to try everything else, right? Mm. Recently, I came back to it. Okay. So I have a new way of using it. You're using it on your body, right? Yeah. I'm using it, you know, if you guys haven't watched the masking video, please watch that. Link below. Please link it below, okay? Or up there. Or up there, okay. So this one, I've actually uh, basically put it on my face before I put on the face mask at night. Okay. And then when I removed it, my goodness, it glows. So for me... Okay, I will try that. I will try that. Yeah, for me, I think... It might work better at night with a mask, like it needs something else with okay. it. But again, I'm not going to complain because the price point, it's good. Um, and yeah, for me, it works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So out of five, you'll give it, give it a... 3.5. 3.5, okay. Okay, so the next vitamin C is the ordinary, which is so ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, but having said that, right? After all, it's a no-frill brand yes, and is. everything is being kept to the minimum. Yes. Uh, so my expectation for the brand has always been quite high, frankly speaking. Um, but for the price point, once again, when I think about it, I couldn't complain much. It's really very cheap. I think it's even less than $20. Yes, or even is. like $10 plus 10, minus. I yeah. 10, yeah. Okay, a few things. I am not crazy about the texture. Out of all the six, right, this is my least favourite in terms of texture. It is very... It's not even oily, mm. it's balmy plus oily. I'm with you, I'm yeah, with you. Yeah, that's a film yeah. that leaves yes. on your skin after you're applied. But I personally find that it's not that it doesn't work, it's just that the experience of it using it wasn't that pleasant. Mm. Um, likewise, uh, but what I like about this is that it's so cheap, you could actually buy this, right, and mix it in your body lotion. I knew it, it, yeah. it always has got to do with the body. Yeah. Out of five stars, actually I give it three and a half more than this because I find price point is great and this one can use it on the body okay yeah 
What about you? Okay, I'm I'm on the other spectrum. Okay, mm. um, I, I'm just gonna jump straight and say I'm gonna give it a one. <laughs> right, it's a one upon five, okay. and I, I'm disappointed because. Um, I've been using a lot of um, the ordinary products, so this is not the first time I've encountered this. The primer that I'm so in love with, and I've done other videos to talk about how my makeup stays, right? That primer, it's like less than seven sing, you know? Mm -hmm. And it works perfectly. Okay. And I've tried some of the other products, and I think it works. But for this one, right, for some reason, I think after the first application for the day, I basically WhatsApp him and I, and I told him, okay, I'm going to stop using it already. Because <laughs> I think the texture-wise, it just feels awkward. It's really like a film that's like over your face. And one thing about this uh, is that it's a droplet bottle. I mean, you know, when it comes to vitamin C, sometimes oxidize really, mm. really fast. Mm. So when you keep opening, closing, opening, closing, right, this, I'm not crazy about a droplet bottle as well. But unfortunately, there are also a lot of droplet <laughs> bottles lot. here. But we yeah. are going to share a little bit more. That's why a yeah. lot of time vitamin C, they will be kept in a droplet bottle. If it's a droplet bottle, a glass bottle is normally very dark mm. uh, to prevent oxidation. But this one, yeah, I'm not crazy about this. Yeah. Okay, so the third product is... We don't know we are pronouncing it pronouncing it correctly. Claire's, I guess so. I'm just gonna call it Claire today. Okay, so it's pure vitamin C and Sante Centella as Asia Tika extract. Mm, anyway, I hope I pronounced it correctly. Uh, so this one surprisingly is in a clear bottle I and know, it's right? white. I know, right? So initially I was very doubtful about doesn't it get oxidized but if you were to look at it um, it says that it's a hybrid stabilization technology mm. so we assume mm. that okay it's going to be great because it's stabilized you can use in a day this one is definitely one of my favorites out of the six uh, for a few reasons first it's cheap okay what you said? i bought it in ho chi minh watson um to convert into sing is around 18 bucks even but bucks. if you were to buy online, I saw the pricing is around 23. Okay. So I guess it's because of conversion rate. Secondly, I like... You no, know, this is not... Um, I would say it's also a little bit oily. But the thing about the feel on the skin is so much better. Um, it's, it's a lot more luxurious feeling. Mm. It sounds very abstract. But if you were to try it... Initially, it starts off a little bit balmy. But I feel that it gets absorbed faster compared to the others uh, so this one i like it and after maybe a week of trying actually the skin condition um, i do see it gets fairer brighter uh, some of the scars lighten as well so i kind of like this one this one i give it a four star okay yeah. this one i'm giving it a 4.5 Ta-da! <laughs> a 4.5 out of 5 i actually did a check in with this product and I'm like, girl, your skin is glowing. <laughs> um, so I, I, okay, I'm actually using this like in the morning, like today before the filming. Uh, I've been using this for a while. This was actually the last product that uh, Yen passed me to try. Mm. And I was really doubtful because like what he mentioned, it's a clear bottle. Mm. And um, typically for vitamin C, uh, because in its purest form, um, usually it's not very suitable to do any topical application in that sense. Yeah. So when I see the word um, stabilization, like what you mentioned, I thought, okay, I would just give it a shot. So the first time I applied it was the first time I literally, when I was driving, I look into the rear mirror and I was like, whoa! Someone, it's someone I know. hiding you from the back. No? It's like I had... <laughs> this on my face, darling. You review the secret why it looks so fair oh. on screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all know that, like, no secret. Anyway... <laughs> Um, the product, I think, in my opinion, it's it's one of my favorite this time round, okay. and I've been using this actually out of all the products the longest. Say yes to Korean, yeah. So, and, and this is the part I'm not even a fan of Korean products. So yeah, when you she doesn't me, so like, like Korean stuff. Like, oh, whatever, you know. But this is a four point five for me. Yeah. Ding, ding. Kamsahamida. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So the fourth product is um Biosense um Squalene vitamin C rose oil and this is the only product out of the six which is oil based um, initially we, I, I wasn't very sure because you know I always use oil at night I don't use oil in the day uh, because once okay. again you know um, guys um, generally we have oilier skin mm. um, so when I first tried this um, I actually apply only like two three drops in a day um, the scent is really pleasant it has this very light rose um, mm. uh, scent first of all 
If you would apply 2-3 drops, I feel that generally it gets absorbed quite well. So I like it in that sense. Um, I like how it feels on the skin, even though it's oil. So in the day, I'm quite okay with it. The only thing that I'm a little bit not sure is the vitamin C content. Uh, it might be, I don't know whether is it considered as high vitamin C content, but I do realize that when I use at night, um, I use it a little bit more generous mm. and mm. I like the day after how my skin yes. feels and looks. Yeah. Um, this one, I actually give it a 3.5 for a few reasons, not for even though I like the result. It's, first of all, I find that it's more suitable for night time. Mm. Uh, secondly, is the price point. It's slightly on the higher yes, range. Yes, it is. This bottle costs 30 something or 40 something? No. 50? It, no, I think this is about, I don't know, 70. Okay, so yeah. this is definitely on the higher range. Uh, but I would say that uh, in all, if you're looking for something to use at night, this is mm. a very pleasant product. Yeah. Okay, for mm. me, I was actually very excited to try this one um, because I've, I've actually watched a couple of like other YouTubers out there who have been using this product, and, but in Singapore, it wasn't available. So this is new, uh, currently available at Sephora. So I actually bought it online. Oh, by the way, mm. only available online. online. I think. Yes. And because um, we were spending quite a fair bit on this one, mm. we have some really luxurious products here. So I decided we'll buy a small bottle to try, okay? Mm -hmm. And I must say that after I try this, I think I'm likely to get the big one. Mm. I tell you why I like about this. Oh, by the way, I'm going to give it a 4 for this one, okay? The reason why this is a 4.5 and this is a 4 is because it's expensive. Mm. But I'm giving it a 4. I like this because um, that rose scent, it's really lovely. It's like you apply it in the morning, it wakes you up. It's almost like coffee on your face, if you know what I mean. Mm. And then when you use it at night, yeah, it's like, oh, chamomile tea on your face, <laughs> you know? It just feels really, really luxurious and uh, on your face. Yep. So this is an oil, and I'm a fan of using facial oils. Um, so for me, never an issue using it in the day or night. The only difference is, um, for this one, if I use in the day, just one or two drops will do. At mm. night, you can actually apply a little bit more. Okay, so now we are at the fifth product. Mm. This fifth, pro fifth product might be the least known in terms of um, brand. It's called Some By Me. S O M E. I believe it's not pronounced as Some, but Som. So Me. Oh, anyway. It's a Korean product, right? Yeah, it's a yeah. Korean product. So I actually saw this together with Claire's in Watson and Ho Chi Minh. I bought it. Mm. Uh, once again, it's very cheap. It's like less than $20, mm. and we decided to give it a try. Uh, well, because you know, some of the things it says like double brightening, improve your skin texture, and non sticky richness. I have to say, this product caught me by surprise by mm. a bit because, um, once again, it's in a droplet bottle. I'm not crazy, but I do realize one thing you do realize that this droplet bottle, right, when you open up, there isn't a, a kind of like uh, stopper. a stopper, yeah. So basically, air gets in really fast. But oh. on the other hand, this one has a stopper, so it kind of like oh regulates the air a little bit. So okay. I really like this because at least it pays Ooh. a little bit more attention to the packaging. That's one thing. Next is really the the oh. texture and the smell. Yeah. I think it has a fine balance between being um, light and yet there's a certain mm. richness like what mm. the, the, the product claims. Mm. Uh, in terms of efficacy, I would say this is actually one of the few that I see results after yeah. a couple of days. Okay. So this one, I'll give it a three and a half star for a price point. Um, unfortunately, if they revise the bottle, but ultimately it's the production yeah, cost. Uh, yeah. I, if the bottle is not in a droplet bottle, it might be a four for me. Mm. What about you? Hey, this is actually a four for me. Eh. Wow, okay. Yeah, so it's like four, four and 4.5, right? Mm. This is a four because it absorbs really well. It is. It is. So yeah, it, when it absorbs so well, it works um, perfectly in the morning because you're rushing and then you have so many steps that you want to do to your skincare, right? But this one, it absorbs, but then you feel like it nourishes at the same time. Yes, yes. So it, it, the skin doesn't feel dry, mm. although it's quickly and this one uh, together with this uh, really caught me by surprise la. Yes. you know I'm not a fan of Korean products right I think I've said say that say yes times. to Korean <laughs> um, so when he gave me this too I'm like mm, I'm not sure but surprisingly th this and, and this so I tried this first and I was like, hey, actually really quite good. Huh? Like after a couple of days, mm -hmm. um, I see, see the skin brighten and I don't know whether I'm delusional, but I don't laugh. Like. Sometimes <laughs> I can be delusional. Yes, but I thought my dark spots, right? It actually lightened quite a fair bit. Like. 
Yeah, with this one. Okay. So, um, yeah, it glows. It's exactly what it says. It's a glow serum. Yeah. So I definitely can see the glow. And again, it works very well um, with makeup as well. So I'm not yeah. going to complain. I'm not mad at this at all. And yeah. the price point, perfect. So yes, this is a four for me. All right, so we're going to move on to the last product. Yeah. I'm excited. Okay, so the last product... Uh Actually, I'm quite looking forward to Okay, this product uh, has high expectations. I was so looking forward to this product. Yeah. Um, first of all, out of the six, this has the best packaging. Because I think that's the least chance of oxidation. So basically, you twist and turn. Mm. It's a pump bottle. It's a very smart design. I love it. Uh, the only thing I want to complain is that when you pump, sometimes it leaks from... Ah, yeah, okay. You're too opening. enthusiastic la. Pump yeah. gently. No, so I always have to do this, then wipe it. Oh. Because it will start trickling oh down. God, I always yeah. wanted to do this, you know. Let's see. Can you guys see the- uh, There we go! <laughs> yeah, so this is how it's like. It is a very light texture, uh, light fluid or light serum, whichever you want to call it. Uh, I like it in terms of how fast it gets absorbed. Oh, mm. did I even mention the brand is Drunk Elephant? We keep talking about <laughs> I know, sorry. how perfect the packaging yeah. is. Uh, it's Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Okay, it firms and brightens. So it's a 15% uh, asorbic acid. Okay, yeah. so a uh, lot of great reviews on the internet. Mm. Um, first of all, I think what I like is really um, the texture. It gets absorbed really fast. But that's also not what I like is that it gets absorbed so fast I have to quickly apply like, oh my god, I have to yeah. go around my face yeah. before it runs out and I have to pump the second pump. So, uh, technically, I think one pump should be enough. It's just that you have to really go qu uh, quickly. Mm. So that's one thing. Um, the second thing which I don't say I hate it, uh, is that because uh, I do realise that day one until now, mm. actually the serum starts to get darker and darker. Right? And I, I realised that even though it's in a pump bottle, it should be the bottle that doesn't oxidise that fast. But yet, out of all these six, right, in terms of the, the colour of the serum, uh, this sort of gets darker the fastest. Yeah. Um, it could be a case of it has high level of vitamin C, hence the reason why. So I give it a three and a half. Okay. Okay, um, this is the last product that I tried out of the six. Um, I'm still using it now. Um, mm. I I'm gonna do this review slightly differently okay, mm. for this product. You saw me pumping, right? I don't know whether on screen you can capture. So I use this on this portion. And can you see that it's darker, it's darker than yeah. this yes, yes. over here? So that's the strangest thing I experienced yeah. with this product. Because vitamin C products are supposed to brighten, which I've experienced with the rest. Even with the ordinary, okay, my skin is mm. really quite bright, so it didn't do anything. But I'm like, okay, it's my skin. Mm. But this one, it, it darkens. Darkens a little bit reason. immediately, yeah. Yeah, and um, so the first time I applied it, I was like, hmm, is it me or is it the product? Second day I tried it again, I was like, okay, I don't think it's me, I think it's a product. So I tried to look up for other things that I I I like about this. Mm. Okay, this is the only product out of the whole range has got firming effects. Mm. And that yep. firming effects actually works. It's quite so, evident. Yeah, yeah, and he talked about how he used one pump and that's enough, you gotta work really fast. I'm very generous, okay, because I'm quite slow la. <laughs> I one pump really, I'm like, hey, I haven't even oh, then I'm like, okay, dry already. So yeah. what I did with this is second pump. So usually first pump, I'll just like get the first layer. Second one, because it has got firming effect and it's a morning, right? So I plump my face. I literally do this and I hold it there <laughs> so that my face is like plumped up and I do this. So it's instant like Instant lifting. Instant. Yeah. So it has that instant lifting in the morning. So I think it's great if you like, you know, like some of us need that coffee so that the puffiness goes. I think this reduces puffiness mm. and it tightens the skin really quickly. Whether or not it brightens, um, well, actually... Okay, but I have to say, you know, after two, three days of using it, right? Mm. You see clarity, huh? I see clarity. Mm, so, okay. I think, I, I give it uh, credit, it still brightens. It's just that, on the spot when you use it, your skin yeah, darkens yeah, a little. It's, oh my it's god, due it's quite to obvious. The, yeah, so it's due to the colour of the serum, yeah, I guess. Mm, for me, this is a, maybe a three. Okay. Um, so now, we're gonna do... An oxidation test using an apple. I thought you were gonna be Cinderella today. No, you mean Snow White? Oh yeah, Snow White. What Cinderella don't. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a Disney princess. Moving on. Okay. Yes. Uh, so basically, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna slice the apple. Uh, then we're gonna uh, apply the vitamin C on the apple to see which one keeps the apple free from oxidation yeah. the longest. Mm.
so one hour has passed. Mm, it's been a long time. <laughs> so which product is here to stay? And which? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, let, let, let's just show how the apple without any product has been like after you know i don't know yeah you can probably see that it's a yeah. little bit oxidized trying to compete for focus anyway you can see it's kind of oxidized um today's science experiment has mm, been really interesting. i feel like we're in primary school i know and not only that in primary school <laughs> Um, I want to shoot myself in my foot for a couple of reasons, mm -hmm. but um, we, we will do the um, observation now to share with you in the past one hour what has happened uh, when we actually apply the products to the apple. Yeah. And clearly, the ones that remained in its most pristine and original condition of an apple will be the clear winner. Ding ding! The one that turned the apple well this way that it oxidizes. Clearly, it's not gonna last throughout the day yep. for all your beautiful skin. So, how so shall ideally, we ideally they should last as long as possible. So this is after one hour, how it's mm. been like. So um, <laughs> we'll pick out the one that looks the, the most, most oxidized. oxidized. It's actually biosense. Oh my god! I cannot believe. I this. thought that being an oil is gonna you know last longer, but uh, we'll insert the picture. Probably you can't yeah. see. Um, out of all the apples, um. Biosense looks the most oxidized. It's not extremely oxidized mm. like the one without any serum, which mm. is here. Um, but I have to say, the rest compared to Biosense, Biosense, you know, is the first to go down. <sighs> Sorry, you Bye. are rank number six in terms of the oxidation test. Mm -hmm. Now, rank the fifth. Who's fifth? It's actually this. Um, some by me. Okay, but I have to say, Aww. although it's fifth, it still looks relatively very close to the first four. Uh, you can see the insert little so. So this one, even though it's a fifth, I think it's a strong. It's it's a close fifth. fight. Yeah, yeah, it's way better than Biosense. Yes, that's yeah, for sure. it's way better. It's just that if you have to choose a fifth one, this one is a fifth. It's a bit hard to choose. Uh, okay, the remaining four are all in pretty good condition. Okay, let's observe a little bit more. If I were to choose, right, I might choose... I might choose this as the fourth. Eh. Okay. It actually... No leh. No way. Okay, I think we have maybe Top one and three two. Okay, at least at this stage, it feels like a, mm. a, a close almost fight. A, a close tie. Fight. Yeah, yeah, a close fight. Maybe mm. we give our observation from here. Okay. okay. Um, I'll just say that the one that surprises me the most, because they all look very pristine and look like its original condition. Mm. I'm gonna apologize to my friend here at the ordinary. <laughs> you are pretty extraordinary. I was like. It looks really good. It, it looks like nothing has happened to the apple. Yeah, considering we were just talking about how, you know, the <laughs> texture, we were gonna use it on our body. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you work this. Yeah. Okay, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so, not too bad, not too bad. It's oh. not too bad. Mm. But it's a texture, I guess, yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing that caught us by surprise is actually drunk <gasps> elephant. Oh my god. Not only it keeps the texture of the apple, if we don't know why the apple looks a bit lighter than yeah, the rest. Yeah. Mm. Um. Anyway. I, I don't know why it got lighter, but when I looked at it, yeah. I was like observing for like like for the last one hour, and I was like, Yen, is it me or is it like? It looks a little bit lighter here. So maybe it has got brightening and whitening effect. <laughs> I have no idea, but yeah. okay. It's or by the certain bad. ingredients, you know, when they interact or when they inter when they when they get in touch mm. with the apple, yeah. But yeah. maybe it doesn't happen to the face. But generally, in terms of oxidation, um, I think it does a pretty good work in terms of preventing oxidation. <sighs> So, I'm gonna give you a second chance. Yeah. So okay. So now we are, you know, we have sort of concluded in mm. a way. You know, out of this four, what is your favorite of the four? Since we know roughly how they work in terms of preventing okay. oxidation. So clearly, I gave the mm. highest um, ranking to Claire's, mm. which is a four point five earlier. Claire's still works. Still works. Yeah. Maintain the way it is so, for the price point. I think this works. Yes. This would be my number one. Mm. My number two. Roto. I gave it a 
3.5, right? So it's quite, yeah, yeah I give you a 3.5. So I think I'm going to continue using this for the night to, before I put on the mask. Mm. And then I'm going to use this for the day. Because okay. I really like the texture in the day. I skip moisturizer and this will do. Okay. Yeah. I would say class is still number one okay. after the series of tests. Um, my number two... <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to the extraordinary? Actually, I will choose this, but I will still use it on my body. <laughs> No, really, really. Because okay, my body also needs equal amount of loving true. care. That's not just yeah. the face, we need Correct. the body so as well. So, I will yes. use it on my body. Uh, it's really because I don't like the film on my okay, face. Okay. But I'm, I don't. I wouldn't mind a kind yeah, of like I a protective so. layer on yeah. my body when I sleep. So, I suppose that concludes uh, our episode. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, whichever vitamin C works for you, I guess different skin works differently. And these are the six that we have tried today. Yeah, and hopefully it has given you some insights uh, with the experiment that we have done. We had a lot of fun filming this. Yes. And I'm glad we eventually, after a month, we got to do this. Yep. So, um, before we go, remember to subscribe to the channel. And show us some love. And hit the bell button. Yes. If you have any comments, you can leave it down below. Yep, and we'll see you next episode. See ya. Bye. Yeah.